group of doctors says the FDA illegally approved certain abortion, chemical abortion drugs for women and teenage girls at a cost to their safety and health. In a lawsuit filed last night, the doctors say the FDA put politics over science when they approved chemical abortion drugs, mifepristone and misoprostol, ignoring evidence that the drugs cause more complications than surgical abortions. And with us tonight is Julie Marie Blake, senior counsel for the Alliance Defending Freedom. Julie, welcome. Good to be with you. Uh, talk to us more about these drugs and just how dangerous they are. Well, the FDA has a responsibility to protect the health and safety of all Americans, but it has failed to protect women and girls from the harms of dangerous chemical abortion drugs. Uh, these drugs are dangerous and they should never have been approved. Our new lawsuit asks the FDA to take them off of the market. Yeah, and it is really so hard to believe that, that teenage girls can legally access these and take these. Um, can you tell us how these drugs impact a young girl's development and how it impacts them in other ways? Well, these drugs are dangerous and harmful, especially for women and girls. The FDA approved these drugs, which are usually used up to 10 weeks of pregnancy, without doing any pediatric studies. That's right. They're used on women and girls, including girls in puberty, without even studying first whether that'll affect the, the girl's development. So abortion always takes a human life, but they also can create real complications, real needs for medical attention for women and girls. And the FDA hasn't followed the science and said they followed politics. So our lawsuit asks the FDA to put the politics aside, follow the science, and to start protecting these young girls uh, from these incredibly dangerous, life-altering uh, chemical abortion pills. Yeah, I'm curious, what sort of uh, safety protocols did they skip over and why do you think they would do that? Well, uh, they were approved um, by uh, President Clinton right on his way out of office. And uh, what it was done was not based on the science. It wasn't based on protecting girls. And since then, they've just removed every safeguard that has been in place. Our clients are emergency room doctors, OBs, major medical associations who every day uh, are dealing with the, the harms from chemical abortion drugs. When you allow mail order abortion drugs, like the FDA has done, you get these dangerous chemical abortion drugs in the mail without ever seeing uh, an, an abortionist even in person, no ultrasound, no protections. And so when a woman takes these alone at home, these mail order drugs, and um, sees what happens during the course of her, her self-administered abortion, um, often, you know, as many as one in five uh, seek medical attention afterwards. They go to their ER, they go to their local OB, and we represent those doctors, these patients. We're going to court and asking them to order the FDA to finally start protecting women and girls who should not not have to go through the trauma of taking these chemical abortion drugs. Yeah, and in other related news, I want to bring this up to, to you. Uh, this week, the New York Post and other uh, news outlets reported uh, that a Texas lawyer allegedly slipped an abortion drug into his wife's drink. I, I want to get your reaction to this. And, and do you expect maybe this sort of thing to continue happening? You know, that is just horrifying to think that when we have mail order abortion, uh, that someone can go online um, and a, a, an abuser, someone who's hostile to women, uh, try and get abortion drugs, in, in this case, apparent, apparently illegally because the man couldn't be prescribed them himself, and, and then slip them in a woman's drink. It's horrible. And so the, the fewer of these dangerous chemical abortion drugs out there, the better. Absolutely. Um, curious. We're almost out of time, but you know, winning this case really could mean a, a devastating blow to the drug makers and also a big fall from grace for the FDA. Really, uh, there's so much at stake here. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Well, more than half of abortions in America are uh, chemical abortions right now, and chemical abortion is far more dangerous than surgical abortion. Obviously, abortion always takes an innocent life, but women deserve better than these dangerous chemical abortion drugs. They deserve better than the FDA letting them down. And so our lawsuit seeks to stop these harms to women and to finally hold the FDA to account in court. Well, Julie, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much for your time. Keep us posted. Thank you.